This news update is brought to you by... Rock the remote with hours of free karaoke on video on demand from Flo. So bring it like Bay. There's even wonderful kids sing-alongs too. Available anytime. Simply press the VOD button on your Flo remote. This is how we do TV. This is how we flow. It's Friday, February the 26th, 2016, and this is your Barbados Today Morning News Update. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Thanks for joining us. In our top story, the private sector is this morning warning of possible layoffs and industrial relations chaos in Barbados if the government's proposed holiday with pay bill becomes law in its present form. Chairman of the Barbados Private Sector Association, Alex MacDonald, says there will be an escalation in the cost of local companies doing business which could push them to the edge after avoiding major retrenchments for the past nine years in one of the worst recessions ever. There are far too many areas of interpretive differences that should the bill be put in its current form that given our knowledge of the industrial relations climate and the fears that we have that will cause industrial relations concerns. You can't have a bill that two intelligent people can reasonably have two opposing views on the interpretation of that bill. Neither with, neither with malice, but both with very um, pertinent points of view. Can you imagine the chaos that that will cause on the industrial relations land, land, landscape? Not to mention the court system. Court, level of court and the level of just time and, and, and energy that is caught that will be used to try to settle these matters. A strong word of caution has been issued to Attorney General Adriel Brathwit that the recently approved Domestic Violence Protection Orders Act may actually do more harm than good. It came during a very robust meeting of the Men's Educational Support Association or MESA Wednesday night at the St. Michael's School. Contending that men were also victims of domestic violence, Mesa member Henderson Clark told the large gathering that the judicial system in Barbados had not only failed men, but was a recipe for murders. Meanwhile, Attorney General Brathwaite says an increasing number of underage girls are being molested by close relatives, including their fathers and uncles. He blamed this and a lack of parental guidance for the growing levels of truancy among young girls. Raffet said the situation at home was forcing these children to seek comfort and security elsewhere. He, however, strongly defended some of the residents of the female correctional facility known as the Girls' Industrial School against claims that they often end up on the streets prostituting. That's, that's really unfair to government industrial school. Now, if you go down Bush Hill now, if there are 20 girls, they're all at the school somewhere. And she probably wouldn't have said from, from Queen's College to Bush Hill or from Graydon City to Bush Hill, et cetera, but it's a government industrial school, so it doesn't count. Right? But they're the more vulnerable children in our society. And, and we really should not be making their lives even harder by creating the impression that, you know, that that's all that they're good for. You know, they go to government, that's true. So, so they end up at Bush Hill. I'm very annoyed about it. So you, you, you tell I said that. You know, no, I, I don't have to respond to everything. And so, but it's, it's really unfair to these children, right? Because they're, they're also someone that went from government industrial school to university and to, and to decent jobs in Barbados. Why don't you publish such an article? There are also some that leave government industrial school and went to community college and are leading decent lives in Barbados. Chief Labour Officer Vincent Burnett will bring the National Union of Public Workers and the management of the Grandy Adams International Airport together at the bargaining table on Monday morning to try to settle a long-standing pay dispute involving airport employees. Yesterday, Burnett met with both sides separately at his Warren's office to get a sense of their specific issues. The two parties are being kept apart by different positions being taken on a 3.5% pay hike which the union claims is owed to the workers dating back to 2010-2011. What is being touted as a bigger and better AgroFest 2016 opens to the general public in Queen's Park tomorrow. 
Coordinator Theodore Fraser is pleased with the growing uh, number of people who are attending AgriFest, telling Barbados today that a lot more young people are getting involved. Well, a lot of younger farmers have um, come on board this year more so than in the past. Um, and we, we're looking forward to, you know, they're showing off their skills in preparing their animals for showing um, during the weekend of AgriFest. First-time exhibitor Julian Mangal of Walker's Reserve is excited to display his organic farming. Uh, basically, we want to just give persons a sample of what we're doing at Walker's Reserve. It has been going for just over two years now, but it's not, we haven't really gone up public. The website was only fresh, so we want to show persons that, well, we're growing plants, we're growing produce, the whole area is over 300 acres and we plan to do the whole thing organically. So we just want to show even on a large scale, in poor quality, you can produce organically once you use the right permaculture methods. There's regional and international news after this short break. This big weekend, bring all your family and all your friends. Don't be foolish, you got the plan. Cause I'll bring in Dolly, Doocy and Dad. Don't be pussy, Lanny Moss. You've got to go and get your tickets at all the Moss offices. AgriFest 2016, a beautiful amount of entertainment, a humongous amount of agricultural projects. AgriFest for you, AgriFest for me. The mighty dun, 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 AgriFest. Read all about it, read all about it. Get your paper. Only 225. Let's get your paper. See you again with that stale news from yesterday. I got the barbers today at to my phone and I just get my news for free. What do she? Barbados today. News you can trust. Turning now to the big story on the regional front, the opposition Jamaica Labour Party leader, Andrew Holness, is to be the next Prime Minister of Jamaica. With more than 99% of the votes counted up to late last night, the prediction was that the JLP would end up with a five-seat victory following yesterday's general election. With the final official tally to be made up to that point in time, the People's National Party of Portia Simpson Miller had 29 seats to the JLP's 34. The Prime Minister-elect's wife also won her seat by a massive margin. In more regional news, about 200 workers employed with the Central Trinidad Steel Limited in Point Lisas has, have been fired, but the monthly and daily paid and contract workers who received their letters of retrenchment yesterday say there was no compensation package in it for them. President of the Steel Workers Union, Christopher Henry, said there is need for greater dialogue before employers make drastic decisions that negatively impact workers. That the challenges that we face in cannot, the workers cannot be the one to face the brunt of it. We have to come together. We have to sit and make decisions as it relates to um, keeping workers employed. On the international scene, authorities in the U.S. were last night working on reports of at least four different crime scenes in connection with a workplace shooting in Excel Industries in Heston, Kansas. Harvey County Sheriff T. Walton said that apart from the assailant, there could be as many as three or four others dead and possibly up to 20 people that have been injured. And finally, the Kenyan president has labeled his citizens as experienced thieves. During a state visit to Israel, Uhuru Kenyatta said Kenyans were experienced in stealing and perpetuating other crimes. He also said that while Kenya was 20 times more wonderful than Israel, all his country ever did 
was complained. In an address to Kenyans living in Israel, the president stated too that they were also abusers and they promoted tribalism. That's news. However, you can join us again this afternoon for more. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune into Channel 101 on Flow TV and Mix 96.9 FM to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic day.